I V M. VL, also known as Varta Lab, is a delightful concoction of stories featuring comedians Akash Mehta and Naveen Narona, father and son. Together, they tell stories to each other from their lives and welcome others to do the same. It's all fiction with plenty of adult humor, touching, feeling, holding, caressing. Episodes available at the IVM website, app, or wherever the hell you get your podcast from. Kripaya Dhyan DJA. The language used on the podcast may not be fit for consumption. We warn you, tread carefully. But listen, yar, don't be so conservative. You're listening to Cyrus Says. India's highest awarded podcast show ever is not this one. This one's called Cock and Bull, and we've got five people on it: myself, Swati Abbas, super comedian Shriram, who rejected uh, Comic Stan for reasons he'll tell us on the show, and Amit Doshi because the fifth guest didn't come. Why follow your auntie's advice when you can follow Cyrus Says on Facebook and Twitter to stay updated about the latest shows? All right, it's called Cock and Bull. When we move from our show, which used to be Cyrus Says, and it comes down to Cock and Bull, but I want to talk about this philosophy, which has to end, and that is uh, when people come up to you and say, "Do you remember me?" Never say that to a friend or person you know or don't know. It makes no sense. Nobody comes out a winner. Do you remember me? How do you go with that? Because if you don't remember the person, that insults him. If you do remember, you took time to remember, so that insults him. And if you pretend to remember, now he knows you're pretending. That insults him. So this is not a good thing. Never say, "Do you remember me?" Instead, just come and say, "Hey, man, we worked together in 1997. Remember, just outside that brothel where we used to meet. Whatever, whatever. Get the connection and move on in life. Do not say, 'Do you remember me?'" By the way, do you remember? The show is called Cock and Bull. And that's what Cyrus says. All right, here in Cock and Bull, we've got uh, super legend comic Sri Ram, who's drinking gin and tonic, uh, which is not allowed in our culture. Eid Eid Mubarak, everyone. Eid Mubarak, <laughs> maybe or maybe not. We don't know when we're on air. So we should just say Diwali and Christmas and everything else sure. for safety. It's all uh, Mubarak. Uh, Amit Doshi, of course, uh, Lord of the Rings, <laughs> and um, the one and only Abbas. Yeah. Also a comic. So you and yeah. Sri Ram are cousins. Kind Swati, of. Swati, what the hell are you? Um, human being. That's a right. human being. <laughs> Uh, how do you be one of those? Straight out of uh, Elephant Man. No? I, I'm just a human being. Lovely. That was filled with pathos, which is what what is missing from our show. Right. We need more pathos, more pain. Which if is nothing else, I thought so said human beings. That's what missing all of us. That show. too. That occasionally, we do get one dropping in. True. But uh, what was, can we have some music in our show? That's what I was trying to. There is music. There in is. Our show, yeah. yeah. I mean, you should listen to the show. Yeah. I do listen to the show. <laughs> Shidam, have you heard the show? We need. Oh, I've heard only the show. for the music. You'd have never come. You'd have never come on the show if you heard the show. We get tweets regularly asking. Who composed the music for this show? It's so good. And your point, yeah. and what do you say? This guy, that guy. It's talk music source from here. That's some random Abba. guy. Abba's a permanent group. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So this is called Cock and Bull Shiram. I'll explain it to you because you're a comic. Sure. And I don't know your education qualifications. Abbas is nine standard. Uh, Abbas, are oh, you are you qualified? Fancy Sorry? Edu Ivy League nine standard right there. Yeah. Abbas. No, Ivy League. CBSE nine standard. CBSE. Yeah. So Delhi se aaya? No, Delhi board in Bombay. Are you serious? Technically, it's a central board. Yeah. So, <laughs> really, you hate the locals, huh? Yeah. Yeah. What do you mean with them? We had Marathi. I go straight to Delhi. Till, we had Marathi till eighth standard. Then so, what happened? Then it dropped. Then it's just Hindi and English. But did you do what I used to do in Marathi exams? Which because is? it was not counted. We would start in Hindi, uh, first in Marathi, then run out, then Hindi, then English. Kind of. Yeah. Maji aay chana Olivia. Uska umar pachpan. Yeah. And then she is my mother. <laughs> really second way of answering questions, Swati. What is wrong with that? No, no, nothing is wrong. Nothing I think it's beautiful. Yeah. Brings our country together. Nothing wrong as long as you don't expect any points. <laughs> Yes. I remember once in my Marathi two. examination, there was an essay question on what's your favorite hobby, and we had a chapter in Marathi called "Fool Vedya Mai." So I just took all the things that "Fool Vedya Mai" was and made it mine and passed it off as mine. How much you get? Oh, I scored full. There much. you go. It's the it's the state board. The end justifies the means. The greatest Maharashtra Nikolo Machiavelli, <laughs> and also Kautilya a little before him. Uh, sir, what have we yeah. got in the plate? All right. So uh, first piece of news. Uh, T M Krishna, the Carnatic singer, ah, his concert story. was yeah. cancelled by the airport authorities because uh, he sings Christian hymns in between. Yeah, that's, Sridham is Tambram. Yeah, you explain this as a Carnatic vocalist and a Hindustani classical vocalist rather. I think he's Hindustani classical. Uh, he is is that okay? Carnatic. He's Carnatic. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is it okay for him to uh, experiment with music and have? Uh, I think it's always happened. Yesu Das was Catholic uh, raised and he sang a lot of Hindu hymns. I think it's, it's now, just musicians doing music. It's not yeah, about any much. Yeah. yeah. But why don't people understand that? What is stopping our brains from understanding? 
pretending an artist is performing his art and nothing more. I feel there's a territory attached to every form of uh, art. This is Delhi airports, mind you, where nothing takes off or lands half true, the time. True. Yeah, and they can, can't see anything, so Mr. Krishna Guru just walked out. Yeah, I think he himself sent a body double to perform in his place. No one can see who's A rather fat guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nusrat has since passed. Yeah, exactly. Sorry, yeah, sorry. I take that back. Terrible. Yeah, so I think. I think but what is wrong with us? Tell me honestly. I, I, this is a singer singing. Yeah, but I feel that so there's a certain territory attached to that certain culture. So you associate Carnatic music with... But uh, are, are you talking about discerning listeners or objecting? Are you talking about people who are politicizing an issue? It is two different people. I, I think it was politicizing. Right? Yeah. So you're I not heard. talking about the guys who yeah, understand the art and le- uh, listen to Carnatic no, no, girls no, and, yeah, and clap at the It's not just about it. his music, it's about his political views. It's and about the way calling him an umbrella yeah, right? which, which is a key point, I yeah. think, because he's been an outspoken critic of the current government. Yes. There was a campaign on Twitter against him mm-hmm. doing this concert. And uh, although the Airports Authority of India said that uh, they had some other scheduling issue on that day and hence they had to reschedule the show. Uh, and so when is the new date? What is the new? They are when you say announce. reschedule, there's a new yeah, date, right? Yeah, no, so it's, then it's coming soon. The it's Aam like, Aadmi Party swooped in and they were like, we'll provide another venue for you to yeah. have that concert. But on alternate days, because that's on, on on another day. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it was all about the alternate date. <laughs> it's interesting because the new venue is this place called Garden of Five Senses. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like a five-star. Yeah, yeah. It's a like compensation. It's a music concert. You just need one sense, technically. Absolutely. I can't... God, you know, I mean, a guy performs. I mean, if that's simply it. And even if he has political views, that comes secondary. Yeah. He's here as an artist performing. You go and watch it. What happened to democracy? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But what has AAP gained in all this? I mean, I don't understand. Ah. Brownie mm-hmm. points. Oh, <laughs> center support. Center. Which is interesting. Which is interesting. to spy on you. You be no, careful. She, you know, which comics. is an interesting thing to explore, is it? What does AAP gain out of it? Uh, AAP gains uh, prominent Popul- uh, popularity. Uh, no, and they're just basically they're opposing their way. We are the alternative to the BJP, right? Yeah. That is their positioning at this point in time. Yeah, it's also the, Congress the is knight not, in the shining armor last exactly, year. They yeah. come in and it's one thing. They want to stop Pakistani artists, which I think is wrong also. It is wrong. Stop Pakistani artists from performing here, but now Indian artists are performing. And if they wanted to, in their art form, do whatever the hell they want to, you either reject it as a, as a person who's buying a ticket right. and say I don't like it, I don't want to go, or you don't. But why? How can you stop him? That's what he does. That's his thing. Well, you know? Yeah. I don't people get that. are foolish. People I mean, are stupid. I'm going to do hymns on our show from now on. Uh, anybody knows hymns? Uh, there you go. That's, that's not a hymn, you idiot. <laughs> I'm half Catholic. That's not a hymn. That's, that's a carol. No, but that now is... they'll come after us. One of the most peaceful <laughs> communities. What See what you've done. See what you've done. We live in car. I cannot get out of your life. But if I do it in Carnatic voice, like <laughs> 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 which is pre- okay, precisely what let's song, let's song get to the tal. One, two, three, four. Silent night, holy night. The, I'll the, pay for this. The accent comes with it. <laughs> Where is our Garden of Five Senses Airports Authority? It's Carnatic vocals. Then yeah. it's supposed to have a Carnatic accent That's or something. Nah, but if I, if he sounds like a Haryanvi. I'll be taking my money back immediately. That's true. Don't make any sense. Uh, I'm right. good, Shriram. You've done the right thing here. You have accepted that as an artist, there's no barrier to any form of art. Which Except me, money, which, which no brings one me, cares. Uh, which brings me to Pamela Anderson. But in the old days, they used to throw things on stage. Now, we can't risk that. We <laughs> just made a transition from TM uh, Krishna to Pamela Anderson. Yeah, and throwing things on stage. That <laughs> was a huge leap. Because, hi, guys. Carnatic vocals for you is something big. And, you know, I mean, the guy can sing, no doubt. Yeah. Uh, the stereotype about the Tam Bram boy learning one of the classical things by the time he's three and a half is true. Am I, am I right? Uh, two and a half. We've all grown up with Tam Bram boys in Bombay, so we know what yeah, that's yeah. like. But we've also grown up with Pamela Anderson. And I'm just thinking she's an artist is too that's all yeah and if they ban her concert i'm leaving the country what's her art uh, <laughs> running with a, with a surfboard it's not easy abbas you try it i want to see you in chapati at six months running the surfboard do you really uh, <laughs> <laughs> maybe that's why pamela was running in the first place all right what's okay, up moving on okay so the oxford dictionary uh, comes out every end of the year they uh, for our audience this is the right subject <laughs> so they came out with word the word of the year for 2018 mm. and that word was toxic toxic yeah yeah so so it uh, kind of encapsulates the year, Brexit maybe in the background. Brexit it was last year for them. Oh, oh, it's right, uh, heating up right now. It's happening now. Yeah, yeah. So I'm saying Brexit in the background, a little chaos in England as we speak, and perhaps toxic is more relevant to well, their. It's also it's there. It comes to up a lot in. Uh, us, basically. It it comes a lot in feminist literature as well, right? Uh, we talk about toxic masculinity and yeah. stuff like that. Oh, so that the second highest searched. Yeah. Me. So the first uh, searched. Uh, 
toxic word was toxic chemical the yes. other the second one was toxic masculinity toxic, toxic air also yeah let, let the uh, toxic air, air is 10th incidentally can you it explain is, toxic yeah it's 10th oh. so let, let's give the lady a chance to explain what is toxic that would be all of us interrupting over yeah. just trying to speak yeah. <laughs> is that it is that an example yes i didn't interrupt i was asking you a question <laughs> the biggest example of that <laughs> that saves all of us a google search i think you and dm krishna uh, should be banned together from now on <laughs> we have done an ivm daily episode on yes. uh, Uh, yes. toxic masculinity yeah. so uh, uh, listeners should uh, Can you again search tell me exactly what is it mean what was yeah what was that show again it basically means um you know when your gestures postures and your unconscious bias comes into your entire conversation with to a female to put down women or yeah, to patronize yeah. them you probably, do both. you probably do not even realize what you're doing but I that realize. that everything comes into this, uh, this like if it's a powerful woman like maya with you patronize her and if it's a less powerful woman you push her away i'm just thinking aloud you know, so so talking about a woman as powerful in itself is biased really what is powerful i have no idea That's what. <laughs> well, there's a this bike I know, but my one is different. <laughs> Definitely different. Yeah. Jim Krishna I, I, regales us. Finding night. Mr. Krishna. No, the I, I think. <laughs> it's just because Sarah said there should be music on this. Do you want to be the first yeah. broadcaster to be killed? No, we don't listen to the program and then suddenly get shot for what? Six people. Yeah. It's this uh, unconscious um, uh, male superiority. Yeah. a thing that 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 men do where uh, which is behind the whole me too thing this is i think i can so i do it's it, part of it uh, but you yeah, know it this, seeps into work culture it seeps into is part of the toxic masculinity the idea that uh, men have to put the ac on like low because no, that's at the moment i feel is really hot in this room am i the only one who <laughs> toxic in some way i think that's personal problem <laughs> see if if a woman says well, she's, she's insulting she's, you know, she's not comfortable with the ac temperature and yet you forcibly bring it down that would be toxic masculinity so I mean, that would be the so war an of ele- sexes electronic appliance can lead to me too as well oh god that's on the yeah. <laughs> let's let's move on let's jump uh, ahead some jump of the ahead. some of the other words that made uh, in the list were yeah. gaslighting incel hmm. uh What about develop? Gammon. Develop is not there. Develop <laughs> is my favorite word, yar. Ki <laughs> develop, 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 develop. Do you know what is big dick energy? Yeah, it's a talk. You're asking me, forty-seven <laughs> and washed out, a totally young man. Es- essentially, when you have um, a, a, a very masculine uh, uh, appearance, but then you go out of your way to uh, to be humble and. Uh, Like Nelson Mandela, is that really big, big powerful? But like the like the rock, the rock is this really tough appears muscular to be, guy. But then we don't know what he's like in private life. He'll be kicking people in the face because he's tall. Somebody would have come out with it if if he was doing. It'll happen that. in India sooner or later. They bring you down. <laughs> the US, you can last a little longer. Oh, Hawaii, Hawaii is still technically US, right? Yeah. Okay, don't start a war. Huh. <laughs> also, right. big dick energy. Nice, yeah. Swati. Have you heard of this? No. No, I think it big dick one. energy is cool, right? Like playing yeah. it cool, the, like uh, no, he's saying, but you're powerful, but you don't show it. Yeah, yeah. is that what yeah. big big dick energy? That's what I understand. Yeah, so yeah. it's basically you promote, uh, you give out a aura that you are uh, completely yeah. in control of everything, mm. even though you don't be. But you're like, not dominant. Do what I say. Do what you're dominant. not like that, right? Yeah. Okay. okay. Shiram, it's the way you live your life, Baba. It's the way you live your life. I have the definition right here. Okay. And who is very answers? And attitude. Yeah, go on. Tell us. Big dick energy or BDE, an attitude of. of understated and casual confidence I think Ryan Gosling fits into that very well yeah. I think Ryan Gosling is from Mongolia it's a very popular <laughs> name Gosling <laughs> I'm telling you I know okay. my clans uh where were we is, I, I, I don't know anyway let's go around the room yeah. uh, Abbas are you a big dick energy man <laughs> Mm, you're quietly, you're quietly confident. It. He's somewhere in that area because he's more quietly. I could never be that. I'm the guy who's full of noise. I'm Macbeth, you know, uh, full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. That's me. Okay. Are you? I Amit, sorry. Don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. How do you say that? A little you... bit more like Abbas. Shiram. I am nothing. I'm barely alive. <laughs> yeah, you're, 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 you're not. Your presence is uh, more. I'll show to you tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Ideally, at the Post <laughs> Authority of India show. Yeah. Or the Garden of Five Senses. Right. Oh, you, you, Cyrus? Not at all. Not But at I all. think you closer. Maybe to some extent him, but you closer. Understated and casual. No, like you don't, you don't be overt with your with your. Uh, this clearly advice. shows that we need okay. more research on this. Or maybe, 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 <laughs> or maybe Let's this fit, Oxford of, list is full of crap. Maybe <laughs> not also. Why can't we just accept that none of us have a big, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, you know, energy? Uh, yeah. Okay. Moving on. Moving on. Moving on. Hey, do you uh, think there's big potential dick energy and, and kinetic? <laughs> dick energy? Yeah, kinetic. I've got plenty. Like of. if, if yeah. someone is has big dick energy, but they aren't showing it, there's like that's potential. Harness. Right? They have to harness that energy. You're right. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. 
yeah. and Ryan Gosling has big kinetic dick energy. Yeah. No, he has this both. Always. He has both. I have no uh, yeah. idea. He's on command. He has both. He's yeah. Gosling. Oh, he's, oh yeah, okay. he can do anything. Goss lighting also probably comes from Goss. <laughs> you know, this guy, he's like God. He may really be God. He, he is was Oscar Dictionary at this point. He was Neil Armstrong in a movie this year. There you so, go. Yeah. And it doesn't just stop an arm from what we've just learned about ah, his energies. And I think it's about time to move, move on. on move on. Before we <laughs> degrade ourselves ah, to a okay. level which you can't take. And we start singing, Silent Night! <laughs> Uh, Mitali Raj is now the highest run getter in T20s for India. She has surpassed Virat Kohli yeah, and play Rohit more. Sharma. They play more. They play a lot, and uh, it's a difficult. I don't get any. No, but here's no, my but question. I've, and then why I've don't never we... seen you talking about uh, female cricketers ever. No, I do. I'm trying to follow the game now. Why is, why is she not as worshipped as Virat Kohli? Or no, that's the popularity of the male game. And it's going to take some time. Even tennis, for example, the male tennis popularity is still much more than uh, female tennis popularity. Mm -hmm. The numbers are still like that. That's why the big argument about payment and all happens. Is if you talk purely market, they're like, our market is bigger. Why mm -hmm. does Shahrukh Khan get paid more than, say... Um, um, Tushar Kapoor It's like that You know So it's because the market is bigger That's it Sure so Was it always the case though Because I think the 90s I remember a time when uh, Male and female uh, Tennis players were so, uh, No no The, no, the no competition pay. was very <laughs> neck and neck Female tennis feel. players Make a lot of money on endorsements No yeah. no no equal pay They're still struggling In the Grand Slam yeah. Two of them don't pay them. I, I get the point That the, the mm -hmm. level of uh, uh, As in the viewership is There's so a disparity that, there But in the 90s I do remember that no, it So was they had a battle Of the sexes They had the battle Of the sexes They had to promote this That and the other X would play Y Etc. Etc. Yeah. No, it's competitive. Even women's cricket is very competitive. The problem we're having is that people are looking at male cricket and thinking this is serious cricket and everything else isn't. So once that mindset changes, that's when everything will move on. But yeah. if you do follow, there's some really close games and interesting stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, uh, Jemima, who was here yeah, on our show, will. has done very well in the T20. She's hit a 50 in the first game, mm -hmm. and so you know things are looking good. And one day I hope to make the women's team, Swati. <laughs> Really? Wrong, wrong point. Wrong comment. <laughs> was that uh, big dick energy or was that more a question of toxic uh, masculinity? I'm toxic masculinity. Nice <laughs> uh, <laughs> Put me down for two TMs uh, um, with uh, extra cheese, please. Thank you. We'll take a break and we'll come back. Gloss want to talk about Abbas. What are the topics after the break? We'll find out after the break. Uh, good, because you'll source them now. All right. <laughs> Look, up in the internet, it's a meme. No, it's a cat video. No. It's the Geek Fruit Podcast. That's right. We interrupt this riveting broadcast to tell you about our show, the Geek Fruit Podcast, where Tejas, Dinkar, and I, Jishnu, talk about everything in pop culture, including DC, Marvel, Star Wars, Netflix, and everything in between. You know how your friends hate it when you ramble about some nerdy crap and you just want somebody to listen to you? Well, sorry, there's nothing we can do about that, but come listen to us ramble and it'll almost be like the real thing. Kind of. Listen to new episodes of the Geek Fruit Podcast every Monday and the Geek Fruit Bulletin every Thursday on iTunes, Google Podcasts, the IVM app, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Happy listening, you nerds. All right, back here at Cock and Bowl, it's uh, Cyrus Brosia and uh, friends. <laughs> 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 the Jerry Springer Show. It's really bad when there are like 12 people in the show and only one guy's name is out there. That's it's unfair, yeah? It's yeah. Buddy Holly and the crickets. <laughs> we, I can take your name off from this episode. I don't mind. No, <laughs> it's <because> everybody else. <laughs> and we, we can't squeeze them in. And, and TM Krishna ate so much. Silent night halfway through. And of course, Shriram wants to talk for 10 minutes. Shriram, yeah. you've got some stuff you want to share. Yeah, yeah. Take off your chest. Yes. Open your pant. That kind of thing. Go on. <laughs> really? No, please. I'm still stuck on big dick, no. big dick energy and, uh, and uh, uh, what's it? Uh, toxic masculinity is yeah. just in my head right now. Yeah. Shriram. Ha, so, uh, jokes like, apart about <laughs> Comic Stan. <laughs> Oh, you want to talk no, about sorry, okay. whichever one. Ah, so it's interesting since so you're touching on the issue about reality TV as a whole uh, and how like now the participants get uh, any sort of remuneration for what they do. They mm. are the main content creator of the show. Everyone else gets uh, financially uh, sort of they they get their monies whatever they're doing for the show, but the rest of the pe only the contestants of a reality show never get paid. So who are the others? The technicians, the writers, yeah, everyone, the judges, the, the judges, the, the technicians, writers. It could participants don't get paid. They don't get paid, and that's apparently a norm across all reality TV shows. So one second, in India. but when we did, I've done about four reality shows. We got paid. Obviously, I would have got paid more, if, but unfortunately, didn't. But we got paid as contestants. Uh, I think uh, when you're doing a reality show, which is a celebrity-driven reality show, that's different uh, yeah. than a discovery reality show. Uh, Ideally, right. you do a discovery reality show to get to the celebrity reality right, show. Right, right, right. So, okay, okay. Yeah. So, go, go on. Yeah, yeah. so I, I, I just want to know that is this something that is an issue in itself that needs to be addressed? Equal rights, equal pay. We're talking about tennis, cricket, all that. Because it they're is, using right? your labor. Why no, should you're the putting in your labor. Yeah, so yeah. It's, no, here's the sad part. Paid. 
Actually, yeah. the judge has nothing to lose. Yeah. The technician has nothing to lose because you don't know who he is. And the show does well or not, he still gets work. The writers also we have nothing to lose because you can't really blame them at the end of the day. So the show lives and dies by that idiot poor contestant yeah. who yeah. actually gets destroyed sometimes. Yeah. So he has everything to lose. Yeah. You know, if he doesn't come out looking right. right. Uh, I uh, I get it, and I think that, uh, but I don't think that there's a one size fits all rule over here, right? I think it varies depending on show to show. Uh, it depends on what's happening in that show. And again, I mean, uh, sorry if I'm sounding unsympathetic no, here, right. but Absolutely. I mean, like you know, my thinking is that you know it's a contract negotiation, right? I mean, like if you want to be on that show. They are offering you certain terms. You can accept them or you can say True. no to them, right? True. Uh, if they want you on that show and you have certain terms, they can say yes or they can say no to it. But right? you know, as Martin Luther King once said, I had a dream. Well, he has a dream and I had a dream. Right. Uh, but my point is that, you know, why can't we have like a level ground, like uh, maybe an ugliness quotient? Mm. So you get paid according to how ugly so you I, are. So one thing that, uh, so think about the US, right? I mean, like the way that things work they over there is they have unions, right? So if yeah. you are going to be on a show of There's any a minimal nature, payment. you have to be a union and you $2,000 a day if you have a dialogue. No, it's not that much. It's that much. So you get four working days, you've done well. That is, yeah. But with a dialogue, if you have okay. a dialogue. Okay. If you're just right. in the back yeah. of the scene, then yeah. it's less. But it's, it's, I don't it's know if you're, if you're stabbed to death uh-huh. and your face isn't seen, I don't know how much you get there. So it's called skill. But see, again, that becomes a collective bargaining thing, right? Where they are, all actors have decided that we are all going to be part of the yeah. Screen Actors Guild. Swati, can yep. you find and out? And we are then and only yes. then, uh, if you are a production company that's hiring outside the Screen Actors Guild, no SAG actors will work with you. Yep. Right? So tell us about Comic Sun. I think he's loading up for that. Huh. So no, what happened? I, I, they I didn't pay you in Comic Sun? I mean, it's not a Comic Sun specific issue. I think it's an issue across who, the Who industry. do you hold uh, liable for Comic Sun? Who do I hold liable who do you for? Hold for this whole payment fiasco where you didn't get I paid? I think it starts with Amazon at the top because... So uh, you will never work with Amazon again? <laughs> Sri Ram. <laughs> yeah. of, BJP says never enter Delhi. Uh, yeah. Christians say do not come next to any Christian community. Yeah. Uh, TM Christian or Carnatic vocalists say we will shoot you on site. Yeah. And now you have lost Amazon. Yeah. But it's always Netflix. Anything, any but complaints? hey, I'm here on this podcast. Ah, and huge. And the same. Huge. And we all pay the same. Exactly. Don't you worry. Yeah. Don't you worry. Is the yeah, point yeah, yeah, yeah. of it all? My my so, question is this: Okay, like you said, so let's say it's a singing reality show or a whatever comedy reality. Yeah, like so, what's yeah, the? They don't get paid. So someone Indian, someone Indian singing, Take a specific name. Yes, okay, Indian someone Idol. on Indian Idol participating. Someone participating on Fear Factor. That guy's eating worms. This guy's singing on stage. Yeah, right. Are they on the same uh, pedestal? <laughs> No, but that, he sort of explained the point. He's saying the, the celebrity is already a known name, so they're hoping that that market will bring a market right. to people to watch the show or whatever. Right. So or hence they will be paid. Okay, the, the, while the same on Indian Idol, the, these guys are not responsible for people watching, which is actually a lie because we like to watch the new faces no, and you the want new. To watch that? No, no, and, and that's that. the charm yeah. of any of these uh, unknown uh, people coming and performing their unknown talent. So I think that 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 but is a bit of a lie. You, you know, I mean, like, you're not a, going only for the judges. No, you're, you're not, not going, going for the Simon judges. Cowell, but you're going or, to uh, become. Uh, you're going to become famous, Malik, right? You want to become the next. Uh, Who's that Kelly, whatever? No, but as, 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 a, as a spectator, Phil, an audience, or, I'm also watching because I like that newbie coming and right. performing. You know, he's interesting me sometimes. Uh, or he's not interesting me, he's also fun. No, but my point being that there are two sides to the equation, right? So one side is how do you make the show the best? The show becomes really good when you have new people who people are unknown who don't know. Yep. But what is the incentive for the contestants? Why why would the contestants come for free if they were not getting something out of it? Now, is it enough? So it it may or may not a chance be. to, uh, to grow or not grow. Yeah, you, I yeah. Mean, like, and you, know, you can steal shoes in India because you have to remove shoes in industry. Sure. I've always found that fascinating. I, mean, I see shoes, I'm like, I've got to oh, take a pair. We home. never thought about it. You know, I pass yeah. the TV Nayak, I pray to God and I take four pairs. Mm. <laughs> if I do two prayers, I do Do you have pairs. any size eights? I have one size eight because <laughs> okay. I'm also weird. I like my one foot to be in a smaller shoe. Okay. It just reminds me I'm awake <laughs> okay. when I'm walking. Yeah. Or sometimes I go into coma standing up. Like yeah. horses. You know, horses can go into coma standing up, which means you can die. Uh, Christopher Reeve. I'm sorry right. to mean. No, oh no, my no, God. Yeah. Sorry about Unless that. you had mentioned him, I, you I, wouldn't I, have thought about it. <laughs> now you put that image in that. I, I think I'm watching too much Ricky Gervais. You know, it's, it's all wrong, man. It's mean. <laughs> Scattered. Uh, no, but Comic Stun, we didn't get into that. So, what was the. Uh, hmm. You were on Comic Stun. I wasn't on Comic Stun. You were not on Comic Stun? No. So why are you attacking these guys? <laughs> why do you, why do you no, attack Amazon? Because, uh, uh, I think Sri Ram auditioned for it and one of the he read their terms and conditions and that's when he thought that it wasn't fair. Oh, so there was no payment at all? No. So everyone on Comic Stan, every single person, the known comics also who were there, who didn't get paid, slightly known or whatever, however you want to No, say. I think that, uh, so the judges won't get paid. Uh, judges the judges get do paid, get paid, but the contestants won't get it's, paid. I think if you look at how the monies that are floated in on that show, the contestants are not getting paid purely out of the fact that they don't want to pay them. 
it's not for lack of budget so it's not for lack like of, an arrogance thing like i will not pay not, you yeah, it's just a, it's just exploitation it's, it's just not exploitation it's so a, you think nobody should be given a token amount them. i get that i get that nobody forcing, forcing them. Them. Not it's not the same blueprint as indian idol yeah. except it's comedy it's exactly the same blueprint right yeah. but uh, not exactly because some of them are slightly known in the internet world and all yeah. but um it is supposed to be that so they come they get a platform they perform True. forget what the talent is True. it's the same uh, thing True. so then uh, that's okay right i feel there's a nuance there but between music and comedy because comedy is an art form that you can consume just once and you have to forget about it any bit that you do which is out in public you can never redo it again whereas Shit. music has I've been redoing it for 22 years <laughs> yeah. but none of it is online oh, right? thank god <laughs> <laughs> oh. i mean what happens That's before crazy. we start the podcast remains within our sight this is vegas <laughs> yeah <laughs> so, yeah, so um, i think you refuse you walked out because of this term i didn't walk out i think it was a amicable, you spat on the on no, the it was a amicably, they, Who's the guy you dealt with in oml <laughs> <laughs> Give me the name. Uh, I'll hunt him down like a gazelle. Okay. Yes, <laughs> uh, I, I just want to take the name. When I say of my, we, I mean Amit and me, and you I can see as well. <laughs> I don't take the name of my mortal enemy, huh? <coughs> Ryan Gosling. Let's go. With <laughs> I hate that Ryan Gosling. Why? Dear Amazon, never use him. Yeah. I don't know. I, I just, I, I, I'm just jealous of women liking other men. You know, women, I've got nothing to do with. It's a sickness. If a woman says this guy is attractive, toxic I hate masculinity. Yes. Toxic masculinity. <laughs> textbook, tech toxic like, like masculinity. Like my, if my mother said Milan Soman's a good-looking man, I'm like, I hate Milan Soman without ever meeting him, forever. And that's my mother. Don't call Freud. <laughs> just leave it. <laughs> you never met Milan Soman. I find that hard. I to have believe. swum with Milan Soman. We've known each other since childhood. <laughs> he preferred breaststroke, by the way. I was okay. I was backstroke. Mm. All right, uh, there's dial that up, boy. <laughs> another Take your time. Uh, sign for Amazon right here. <laughs> another case that I want to talk about about Abhijit Ayer Mitra. Uh, yeah, this is a very interesting one story. One sec, one sec, one sec. He, he's an Ayer, you're an Ayer. There might be an angle to this. <laughs> no. I need to know what all the perspectives I, are. I, I, have, I have no idea what his uh, ethnic roots are. Huh? Okay, go on. But uh, it's he's a Bengali, no? Uh, I think he is Odisha. part Odia. He cannot have an Iyer middle no, name I, and not have an Iyer. I think that's part of the whole this now Bengal versus Oriya. That's name part is of the Abhijit whole thing. Abhijit Iyer Mitra. Yeah. Okay. So Mitra puts down, him in the east. Iyer puts him in the south. And Abhijit over. puts him in Indian Idol first season. Now, what is the story? It's pretty interesting. How so? He um, went to the Jagannath Temple uh, and uh, he put out a very. Uh, Oops. Like a intentionally funny tweet which said it's not a temple it's a humble because of all the idols that are there behind uh, as the, the sculpture and the sexual yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. and he said that in a very sarcastic manner uh, but it's a tweet how do we know it's sarcastic uh, no yeah. because he put it out as a video uh, oh. on the tweet and then after that he put out a secondary tweet to that saying that i'm just messing around the architecture here is truly beautiful too late uh, the yeah. troll started yeah no then after that oh it went one step ahead so now then after that the current odisha government hmm. uh, they actually uh, issued a, a fir against him wow and uh, section uh, don't, don't bother the, yeah, if you hurt the sentiments of people in india which you could do simply by touching your elbow to your knee <laughs> uh, you should be jailed for life it, it yeah. is it's much it gets worse than i feel the mm. fir was supported by all parties in both ruling and opposition politics the religion is all making yeah. sense ruling and opposition oh, yeah. in, uh, he's the greatest criminal the world has ever seen stop everything and catch him yeah yeah and in the middle of all this he, there's also talk of him being a pawn because he's close to the uh, one of the opposition leaders uh, mm. and uh, so they'll find a political angle yeah. to it they'll and politicize at this, it at further at the same time he's also a journalist he, that's his main profession he covers uh, defense as a see this as comedians you guys know you're a professional comedians i'm just an idiot they always tell you stay away from religion in any public forum and yeah. they don't do it because we all know that comedy is great when it comes to religion yeah including why can't we make fun of our own religion i've been told don't make parsi jokes you know you can't even do that uh, but you got to be careful to try a muslim joke or you uh, an ayer joke but you can't do once in a while but uh, i'm saying it's just I like how ayer is a religion <laughs> but you bloody damn rams let's be honest about it you decided to live in a little world you're worse than bawas aren't you yeah. this is a group of eight people and we keep everybody out of it this is the problem of the country i think you know the, the isolation of everybody in this way but yeah coming back to religion and the religiosity of this whole thing is it's just it, it's like a it's a nuclear reaction anything nobody even thinks it through it's like salman rushdie that whole issue nobody thinks it through just immediately 
get out of it. Yeah. This guy is dangerous. Interesting that you mentioned Salman Rushdie because some of the cases that have been there, 153A, were the ones that were attached to Salman Rushdie and signing communist violence. Sentiments of people. Yeah. yeah. And there's a there's a second nuance to it where Abhita Mitra, he uh, actually is, he's, he's very right out there. He's, he's a right wing troll. Yeah. And he, I mean, yeah. like, he is one of I those mean, guys who... he has right wing opinions. I wouldn't yeah, say he's a he's troll. He's trolled a lot of people. He's got, he's trying to get people to shut up about stuff. That is stuff. true. I feel, I feel, but so again, he, that's... This is a confusing moment in his life. So, is, so yeah. the thing is because it's that whole like First they spoke out against X, I didn't speak out. Then they spoke out against Then they spoke out against me, and no one's ever speak against speak for me. That's but one sort of the argument. He's gotten a whole bunch of support from people who he has been trolling for the last long that's amount true. of time. So, so that's what he it, switched sides. Although, although so he's, not no, he's, side. not a he's in jail. No, no, I think that's he's in jail. He, then he, he got bailed. He, he got bailed. Yeah, okay. he got bailed uh, a yeah. few days back. So he, All, they jailed him for this tweet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's actually Dude, more like he a bail for two months. Words. Words. He got jailed for like weeks, yeah. and by one of the reasons why he got jailed is to me the most hilarious ones. To save him. No, lawyers and orders are on strike. Yeah, which is one. And the second Welcome thing is... Welcome to India. <laughs> and the second thing is after the protest, when he applied for anticipatory bail, where he said, I don't want to go to Odisha because uh, that protest against me, I have a threat to my life. So the court said that, okay, if you have a threat to your life, then the jail is the best place to be. <laughs> so, uh, where was he at that point? Uh, at that point, he was at... I, I think he was already in... Uh, Prison at that point, and he was waiting for bail. As far if I'm, if I'm he was applying for bail, yeah, yeah. having been put in yeah. uh, overnight, okay. And and then there's a third part. Like so, he he is he is he has right wing opinions. Of, at the same, that is fair. I don't feel he's trolling because I feel at this point there's a lot of antagonism between sides. No, the the interesting but justice part is, is supposed to be yeah, blind. Look no, at the specificity yeah, 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 of this which case. Is, which is what he it comes out and made a wordplay uh, joke he, and apologized. I don't think yeah. he should be in jail. But yeah, I which is what the main thing is. If the issue is of freedom of speech again. All right. So uh, a couple of months back, uh, Sona Mohapatra uh, did a show in Odisha, hmm. and uh, she mispronounced certain words from a. Yeah, but Jagana. the intent was not uh, yeah, malicious. Yeah, but, but then, but then at that time you had the right wing people go against Sona Mohapatra, and now you have the left wing who's not supporting Abhita Mitra. No, as they, much are. As they are. They very they much did, are but, supporting. Yeah, Listen, they, this is a guy who's been. And again, I I followed this stuff when it first happened, yeah. right? So I'm not really up on what's going on right now. But yeah. when it first happened, I saw a bunch of stuff that he was talking about. And he was constantly like, you know, you should shut this person up. How can this person uh, put True. this guy? So well, I mean, that's a, like 80% on friggin' internet who just want to give you their opinions and reactions no, 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 all the time. No, that's not it. Dude, this guy is actually... So, I mean, like, the thing is that there was a certain amount of... Aggression. Uh, an aggression from his side. So all of the people who supported him also were like, we'll support this guy, but we're happy that it happened to him. Mm. You know, because yeah. he's a, he's a, he deserves it. Yeah, he he needs why, to understand yeah, that. Which is, yeah, which is why I feel, is it an issue of, okay, uh, something happened to X, I didn't speak up, something happened to Y, I didn't speak up, no, it's happening to me, where's the support? Is it that or is it the fact that should a issue be irrespective of who, what the political leanings is? Of course I think it should be. Right? Right? So I think that's, yeah. that's the practicality, why it, sorry, of the whole thing is that uh, it's bad luck that immediately somebody reacted to it yeah. and everybody joined the religious bandwagon and said the safe thing here is to put him down. Yeah. Once that happens in India, you're finished. Yeah. Everybody just decides to take one stance yeah. for safety. Yeah. Nobody has strong views about anything in reality. If we get them personally and we sit across the table, that yeah. probably will not turn out to be true. But this uh, guy in the meantime has to get this mob mentality and he's uh, spending how many days in jail you said a week a couple Two of weeks, weeks. Couple that's a lot man more than no, a, more a bad tweet as someone who had right wing beliefs or whatever he must be going after people who make jokes like those right yeah, so does. that's the thing Constantly. I feel I feel he's not I, I think when so he, as far he, he as didn't, I know he realize that when he puts as as I know funny, his, everybody's trying to be a comedian yeah. look at you two it just doesn't end <laughs> although in fairness I feel as far as I know I don't think he's a religious right winger I think he is how do you separate the two he ultimately goes religious he believes in governance for the 1% he believes in uh, sort of the strong entrepreneurial capitalist yeah. views yeah. is what he, you're saying yeah. no no religious. he's not that kind of a right winger yeah he's not that kind of a right winger I don't I Amit General, follows him. Amit is right yeah, himself. I, I, by that, he's only. not that kind of a right. He's not that kind of. Right. He okay. is a very much a. He's a midfielder. Uh, he's a. Movie. Yeah, I do get it. He's extreme in his views, yeah. and he is that that that. I, but again, I don't know. But be that as it may, that's that's. Yeah, not I feel that's fine. I don't want the him in case jail. Is, the case I don't is, want him in jail. He sent out this thing. Forget what he's done with his life before yeah. and after. I, I, the specificity of the case. Listen, you look at yeah, it. I don't think he should be in jail. But if we are going to find a test case, I would rather he be in jail than somebody who is of a better this. I 
scary. No, man. I feel. I feel that. No, but I don't feel. I don't why. want him in jail. I don't want yeah. him in jail. But see, this this stuff needs to be tested out. So right? next next the guy who said Virat Kohli, I prefer English batsman. I don't want him in jail. jail. I don't want him in jail either. I don't want anybody in jail over speech. Okay, I don't think anybody should be arrested yeah. for speech. I think. But having said that, if but somebody is going to get arrested, and there was one guy called Prajesh who said I have a double chin on TV. So I think maybe we could we could have it open. The whole idea of jailing people. I don't feel that. Shut your mind. This case is interesting because it's a beautiful middle ground that mm. we reached in, where you had so many differing opinions, and now finally all these underlying cognitive biases that but, people. But what have. happens, Sri Ram, to Abhijit now going forward? Does he remain a right winger, so to speak, or no, how see, does he c- conduct that himself? You never know. I well, see, to... he didn't get support from any of his so followers. So now he may double right? think. Yeah, he may double the, think his stance. His stand people, on basically, none of his people supported him. He got support from the people who he has been trolling and he has been kind of attacking for the last couple of years. He yeah. got no support from his group. I think he did get support from like some not much. segments as well. I, I, I think one cousin supported him from Antigua. But well, that's Mel Choksi. Sorry, it's not there his was this confusion oh. about his arrest also that whether he was yeah. arrested yeah. <laughs> for or, that Konak yeah. temple comment yeah. tweet or, or, or the Roshibulla tweet yeah. that so he, he made. So there was a issue oh, that he's the one of the fight yeah. between Bengal he, and Orissa. He, he's initially. the same person who said that Roshibulla has... <laughs> Bengali or, or, or origin yeah. Bengali yeah, origin, origin of the yeah. So, so Orissa claims it And from what I gather They are basically They have won the argument More or less yeah. But yeah. Bengal will not accept it So yeah. this will continue forever yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. they wanted to arrest him for that And they were looking for One <laughs> little <laughs> thing he does The second thing they 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 this no, 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 If you are also, arresting him for Roshgulas I have no problem Because you, how dare you talk about Something as holy as a Roshgula What the, you are saying So eventually but, but, but they For religious on, reasons I am not happy Eventually they settled on Another reason Which is where he went on a rant Against the current uh, CM and his secretary. Yeah. Okay, and that is the oh, thing. In Odisha or Bengal? In Odisha. Odisha. Okay. So yeah. that's written in the charge sheet. And the charge sheet is interesting because it starts off with this claim that uh, Abhidhar Mitra, who is a tweeter, <laughs> that's how they spell it. Tweeter. They've, they've yeah, written it as, as they pronounce it. T E R, who owns the tweeter. Handle at uh, <laughs> <Tweet> <laughs> and, then, and then they list down all the things that he's written. Are you going to go to jail for that? You sort of making fun I'm just, of I'm the reading out the charge fun of the that's of the it. office of the Orissa PM and the PMO CMO rather. If I need to be in jail, that's the Roshogula equivalent of my reason to go there. This will help our ratings. Can you go in jail for two days? <laughs> just just protest about something. There is no internet in jails. So. <laughs> we'll find a way. Come on, we bribe somebody. We had a guest who was telling us how to do everything in life through bribing. All right, I think we're almost. Uh, uh, yeah, one, la- one last one thing last since we're talking about quick, quick, quick. Twitter. <laughs> uh, Jack Dorsey, the CEO of Twitter, was in India. Yeah. And uh, he spoke at IIT and he said that fake news on Twitter doesn't have a single fix, uh, which is to say that there can't be a blanket. Uh, How do you stop so, it? So, yeah. uh, uh, why, why I picked this was it's kind of like the Terminator Skynet thing where we've created this, but now we don't know how to control this. Now it's or rather, it's not my problem, it's your problem. You can't control speech. You've never been able to control speech. The thing that you can control speech but in people any have been reasonable way. That the uh, from the beginning. Mark so Zuckerberg Zuckerberg also pretty much said the same thing because about you cannot Facebook. control speech but and is people it, is you these are control tools, how people program see, themselves these are just tools which expand your ability to disseminate speech but it is speech you but cannot so control does, does, does this yeah. mean people are looking at ways for both the provider to be able to clamp down that's huh? what sorry can the provider clamp down no on not in any meaningful no, way now you're talking about philosophy that they should no, not clamp down not forget technically. that but can they, can they technically in can no they? meaningful way can you, can you do it down or the moment you have somebody talking about spreading ISIS culture WhatsApp or does what 400 billion messages a day in India yeah. that's why I was how saying, are yeah. you going to do this so the thing is these are platforms so, many <laughs> so but then essentially they've created Frankenstein's monsters no because monsters, it is, right? these are just no. tools uh, to I disseminate speech no. speech was already there I think it's only people time used for one. to have problems with what people used to say forever we've always had people talking shit we've always had people with really doomsday From scenario the 80s, stuff people have spoken about this and said that once you open the so called internet why are you talking no, about I'm the 80s? Saying 1700s this, yeah once you open the internet you just open the internet then you take it you suffer yeah. it you suffer the good with the bad i think honestly that's the truth and you want but to write the pro nazi support whatever it's yeah, there yeah I think it's a platform at the end of the day and no one who creates the platform is responsible for the people who come in the platform. What do we want? You exactly. want democracy then it comes with all this. Exactly. Yeah. They are not I, I don't think a Jack Dorsey is responsible for people not <laughs> being educated. Right. Uh, at more what point, than him. At what point do you say this is promoting hate speech this should be curbed? Uh, one second. Is promoting is that the only thing that you get out of Twitter is, that's only hate how speech? How do you you know one man's meat another man's poison where do you start? We are exactly. not the, the, the uh, Shiram's comments about this Abhijit uh, fellow none mm. of us are offended alright none of the five mm. people here are offended mm. but some more 
moron or not moron some lovely man somewhere in the world might be offended so how do you draw the line anyway no, how do you draw the line they're specifically looking at me so you could also be arrested no why don't you volunteer once in a while man so i get i get offended when people say things like viv richards was not the greatest batsman of his generation then the, i get really angry he was it, it was changed. Uh, i'll kill you you bastard Kill you! Ekrat Solkar was it? I don't know. That's I just like the name Ekrat Solkar. <laughs> it's like a it's like a Maharashtra uh, beverage that you get. Oh, guy, he was a wonderful fielder. A mean man, mean man, lovely guy. And from humble beginnings, what a beautiful story that is. Let's promote him on the internet. Uh, Swati, you haven't said a word for the last twenty minutes. Therefore, <laughs> male toxicity is winning. Man, male, masculine, whatever it is, be careful. No, I was just reading this survey which is being conducted about by men? BBC. No, about Ryan Gosling. About no, it's the about it's about one. yeah the uh-huh. fake news one the social yeah. media handles of uh, I don't know twenty five thousand people or yeah, something yeah, or yeah. more than that yeah, probably. Yeah. So this research uh, is basically in India, Kenya, and Nigeria, and But it says. Where's the joke? that a rising tide of He's nationalism in india is driving ordinary citizens to spread fake news and in india people are reluctant to share messages which they think might incite violence but feel duty bound to share nationalistic messages so that's one of the biggest reasons for fake news in india how do you control that how is twitter going to deal with it you cannot that's yeah. just it you take but the good with the bad i want to stop the fight here because we're running out of time and we have to get the ama <laughs> so well. the uh, one last thing the article does mention they are trying to look at ai tools to see how they Can But he just said it's impossible. Again, it's yeah, impossible. It's impossible. Let, let's save this argument for another day when you can hit each other at the same time with artificial intelligence tools. <laughs> we'll go to AMAs and we'll talk about other things. Hopefully, <laughs> stop fighting, people. Peace. Kumbaya. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another week on the IVM Podcast Network. If you're not following us on social media, please make sure that you are. We are IVM Podcast on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I have a little bit of news for people. We are releasing a new version of our app, and as part of that, we're running a beta program. We have about 40 slots left for different users to participate in the beta program. And if you'd be interested in doing that, please go to our website, ivmpodcast.com/appbeta. That's ivmpodcast.com/appbeta. Over there, you'll be find a form which will let you submit your email address to us, and we'll invite you into the beta. Again, it's a limited availability, so we're only going to be able to invite so many people. But if you're interested, please do subscribe. And this week on Cyrus says, Cyrus talks to stand-up comedian Saurabh Mehta about moving from HR to comedy and positioning himself as the first giant stand-up comic. On Simplified this week, the guys talk to Atul Chiramani of Magna Sound about the golden age of indie pop in the '90s. On the season finale of the Kinetic Living podcast, Coach Urmi spoke to fellow NTC trainer Kunal Rajput, and they talk about kettlebell sports, powerlifting, and how his dad, a Mumbai-based bodybuilder, inspired him to pursue his fitness career. And starting November 19th, we have a very exciting project. We're starting our first history project with Anirudh Kanisetti. It's called Echoes of India. Please do catch it on the IVM podcast app, website, or wherever you get your podcast from. And with that, let's continue on with your show. If you have any questions for Cyrus, write to us on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, or you can send an email to whatcyrussays at gmail dot com. All right, AMAs, uh, we give it to the one and only Amit Doshi, a man who, let me tell you, takes every single question seriously. He's not going to answer. I won't answer every single just, question. He has some ideas to share with us. <laughs> you know, Ryan Gosling does the same thing. If you write to Ryan Gosling, he replies to everything. Like I once asked him, "What are you eating?" Mate? You're just stuck with Ryan Gosling. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Alex Ramos is responsible for Ryan Gosling's life. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> you're Jack Dorsey to his Twitter. You know. <laughs> Go on. All right. Uh, first question is from Vivek Mishra. Hi, sir. The same. The Abhijit Mishra's brother. <laughs> What the hell? How, how fast are we going? Mitra. That was Mitra. 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 Oh, 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 Mitra. One would think that would help the popularity of other sports, but they seem to watch just the EPL and Champions League. And sadly for me, I don't find a lot of people to talk cricket. Do you feel the same in the last few years? Oh, I'm actually reverse. My dad taught me when I was young. Also, people don't like what you like; it's even better. Just relax. That's why we like opera. <laughs> Quietly, we can listen to music. Don't have to talk to anyone about it. <laughs> test cricket. A lovely test match yesterday. As we record, uh, New Zealand versus Pakistan. I'm probably the only person in the room who watched it. Almost every You're ball. The only person uh, in the room who knew there was a test match. On. <laughs> no, I knew Pakistan four won. Pakistan won, lost by lost four runs. Four runs. <laughs> test match right till the end. And who 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 was the man of the match? Mumbai born Ijaz Patel boy, who at the age of 14 or 15 went to New Zealand. Ah, okay. Yeah. 
Right. So very interesting story. But uh, I tell him, uh, young Mr. Mishra, not to worry. Yeah. Uh, life is yeah. much better when you're in a sort of minority situation right. and like something on your own. So enjoy cricket and uh, let the people enjoy the EPL or whatever else they yeah. enjoy. It's very big deal. T10 cricket. <laughs> See, on the, whatever. You know, old order change it and all these things will come. You'll after T20. Now it's overtaken everything else. I still have my test matches to watch. Even if nobody in the Gulf watched that test match I spoke of, the stadium was empty, completely empty. Where is yeah. it happening? Uh, in uh, Abu Dhabi and Dubai. So. So, uh, ah, because so Pakistan who, doesn't play at home yeah, now. In the yeah. afternoon, who will go watch yeah, a match? Yeah. See, the Pakistani uh, milieu, they are mostly labor class. Yeah. Then they have to work. Then oh. they have to afford this. It's not going to be easy. A test match, five days? Hmm, Come on, exactly. it's going to be hard. Hmm. So, there were like uh, three New Zealand migrants who were, you know, off for lunch, <laughs> having a beer and trying to remember the names of, because they're not rugby players. So, who are these guys, you know? But having said that, I think you should just enjoy the fact that nobody likes the game. It's like if nobody likes your wife, you're safe, right? right? Or oh, is that male toxicity? I don't know. Does it come under? <laughs> silent protest. Uh, okay. No, silent night and action. Silent protest. <laughs> <to> <laughs> holy protest. <laughs> Should open for TM Krishna at his concert. <laughs> he may. He may replace him. <laughs> I'm the guy behind the fog. In there the you go. <laughs> Smog. Smog. Sorry. All right, cool. uh, this one is from Kalyan Krishna. It's a fairly long question. Hey Cyrus, I've been watching you since the inception of MTV India. Inception. And inception. And it's you like have a holy order. <laughs> been watching and since on the, the 1840s. Day. <laughs> ah, okay. And you have always been my favorite VJ of all the MTV VJs. I used to fight with my sister to watch your MTV Bakra. Man, you are the craziest guy I've, I've ever seen on family, TV. Swati. <laughs> oh really? And your jokes were far far advanced when the Indian youth were holding a greeting card and a flower in their hand to please girls. Archies came after me. <laughs> <laughs> I live outside London now And I started to listen to your podcast While commuting to work every day Since the last couple of months And your podcast is rocking as always My question is On IMVM There is no proper political podcast Fully dedicated to it Why don't you do a podcast Wait, On political style Amit, Like your TV program Amit is Amit, uh, Amit, uh, Amit is, a, it is, a, it is political, political. Uh, So let me Pragati. do a little plugging new yeah. Let me do yeah, a little yeah. plugging yeah. Uh, <laughs> The Seen and the Unseen The Pragati podcast The Pulyabazi podcast We have a couple of new ones coming Anirudh okay, Karisati's new show many, Pick it up. Uh, Let, let's take one and Echoes of one. India is a new historical no, 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 podcast which comes with a political perspective. So, by politics, if he means only current affairs, then probably no, not. No, no, I, I think he wants new, one key bat on IVM. Uh, you know what we do have? We, we, we do are, have we all you need to know, switch. which is yeah. a new podcast that we're doing in partnership with Bloomberg Quint. All you need to know. Okay, but why? So it's we, a daily news what podcast. What is Amit Verma's uh, podcast? The scene and the unseen. So let's stick with the scene and the unseen. That is a definitely political yeah. podcast. Because you know, and he speaks yeah. his mind. Yeah. He doesn't live here, by the way. So if you want to troll him or kill him, he lives in Belgium, <laughs> Antwerp. Uh, okay. So this one's from Girish Patel in Oklahoma, USA. One more Patel. There you go. Yes. There you go. See, Oklahoma, oh, okay. USA. Oh, another place Oklahoma, in Belgium. Oklahoma, USA. <laughs> uh, why did you stop Run Order? What's Run Order? Oh, that is ESPN. Oh, the yes, was Pawan. Pawan Achari. Oh, okay, all right, yeah, yeah all right. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll ask Pawan. Yeah. So I, I would love to do Run Order. Please okay. talk to ESPN and what see this Run Order. So we used to do a show which vaguely is uh, TMZ. Have you seen TMZ? Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. seen TMZ? So they did a show where you just chat with uh, people from the ESPN office hmm. about cricket for the week. So okay. it was a fun show, short vignettes, five minutes. Hmm. But you could be a little more controversial and take up things and all that. Yeah, TMZ we talks about something what, like that. who wore what but, and who's but, but having a baby. But they've got great, yeah, they, and they don't, you can't stop, uh, you can go anywhere with it, you know. So they literally, uh, so and so was caught with their underwear not being worn when they entered the right. cab by so and so being Britney, Britney Spears. Britney oh. Spears. About cricketers? No, about <laughs> TMZ is not cricketers. <laughs> I thought you spoke about the same thing. We but have discussed Abdi guards and everything else. Yes, we have. Yeah. Okay. But sadly, that show has come to an end and they haven't renewed the contract. So there's nothing mm. I can do. Yeah. So if he can, if, or if he wants to do it at a lower price, also I'm going to do it <laughs> <laughs> on our show here. <laughs> Okay, all right. Uh, next question is from Sunny K. Uh, hey, Cyrus, love your podcast. Quick question. I'll be eligible for U.S. citizenship next year. Currently, Ooh. have a green card. That Oops. got me thinking, other than the Indian passport, I'm not sure what qualifies me as an Indian. I don't crave Indian food, hardly follow cricket, don't watch Sal- Shah Rukh Salman, any other big name Bollywood movie, don't spend three hours in traffic every day, don't respect elders blindly, believe in following my passion and not money, etc., etc. So my you question... You have so many issues, you're Indian. Yeah, so... as <laughs> <laughs> Indian as you can get. I think <laughs> And you're self-analyzing so much, you're Indian. We can't stop thinking. Every other race stops thinking at some point. But Indians, uh, 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 it just goes on, right? We are, because of our intelligence, I really do believe, and I don't want to sound racist, I think we're the most intelligent people in the world. Sadly, that sort of holds us back all the time because we just go on analyzing. 
Isn't that true? That's I what we're going to say. I think you're right. We, 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 we stuck in our own. He has a green card. Makes him Indian. Okay. Too late now, right? Yeah. So his question is, what are the things, and I think that everybody should answer, what are the things that make somebody Indian irrespective of which part of the world they are? Sri Ram? Outside uh, Indian NRI sort of experience, what makes you Indian outside India? Uh, like I mean, like what do you think is quintessential Indian, right? I mean, like no matter you're retaining your Indianness, but you're outside India. What, okay, what this is going to sound really insensitive. I love it. I, I'm already saying ten points. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you a story. I, I was in Singapore, uh, next to the uh, uh, Indo. It's it's called Serangoon Street, okay, where the immigrants show off rich bastard no, 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 cousins, no, no, rich Tamil cousins yeah, in Singapore. Yeah, 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 no yeah. one tell us about so that. <laughs> <laughs> Although Serangoon Road is more like the Matunga more than anything. The Matunga is a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. uh, so these two like uh, tourists, Indian tourists come to me and they speak in Tamil. Tamil all three languages spoken there. So he, they are like, uh, do you know where Serangoon Lane is? And I could have answered that question because I knew it. But I was like, bro, I am like <laughs> not into this thing of yours. Where you spoke in English. Yeah. <laughs> no, I just I, I had no clue. But mm-hmm. the thing in my head was like, okay, I, I don't want to engage you. Because in my head was like, you're in a different country. You're not you making... You don't want to meet Indians. No, you're not making a effort to mingle. And I feel... Who's so you pronounce judgment, Mr. Mingle. Comedian? I know. Huh? I know it's very it's, it's, it's so what makes you Indian here? No, that's it. That's the, it. The, 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 Not the fact directions. that I hate other Indians when I go outside oh, and oh, what oh, makes oh, me oh, Indian. And then he finds, oh. right? No, no. And so, then he finds Indians cling to their own. Indians and perhaps Chinese are very famous for clinging to their own and not. And Ed, that is absolutely shitty of me as a person. I love it. I understand. Very that. good. Very good point. You know, you know how the other people know they were Indian because in the age of GPS, they're still asking for directions. <laughs> like, where is this? <laughs> yeah, that's a common habit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Swati. If you are abroad? Food. Ah, that's true. We can't run <laughs> away. We can't run away. She has a very good point because I think after three weeks in New York and I love burgers and pizza and all that, mm. I was craving for the curries yeah. and the... Uh, you, our palace is just too... So I cannot live without dal chawal after a uh, week. We screwed, man. <laughs> Yeah, I think food's a good answer, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. like uh, food and uh, and racism. I feel that's also racism a good is a good answer. Yeah, I think racism no, I, is a very good answer. I think for me, it's uh, the uh, white, white collar every, crime. Every other person go yeah. when you see them. I think yeah. all the credit card frauds, all the financial frauds, all the ways to it's the uh, upper echelons of India. Yes, 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 yes. But if you go up from lower to upper, you learn it. It's just in your DNA, <laughs> in your genes. We have taught the world how to cheat at so many things, and I'm proud of that. I'm proud of that. How to avoid paying tax? How to avoid being on the tax system? How to avoid uh, understanding tax? You don't have to. I mean. It's, it's, That's true. Then we have Malayas there, so. And you find an ATM when Indian has figured out how to draw money from somebody else's thing. Also, you know, <laughs> <laughs> we are supposed to do it. Poor Mexican guy, Jorge Lopez. Right. We are really intelligent people. Ah, we're too intelligent. Hey, do, you, do you guys do this where you? Over- Why do we think we masturbate so much? Because we're so bloody intelligent. No, it's true. You, you love yourself more than any, anything else in the world, yeah. I don't think so that Don't qualifies. try to call <laughs> off your opinions on this yeah. <laughs> all part What of my, you do all, in your free time all is All part of my masculine toxicity <laughs> Toxic <laughs> You don't like me You don't like me Talk to Ryan Gosling Alright That's your guy No the thing What I want to ask was that uh, When you go outside Or wherever Do you try to overcompensate For Indian stereotypes Like Indians to don't To be extra tip, westernized No no think The Indians don't tip well For instance Right that's one uh, No I find a lot of Indians Don't you look know, uh, foreigners in the eyes And uh, a little intimidated That's huh. what I've noticed So you so just make gaze into everyone that. Like this. I make love I make ah. love with every foreign I, I mean I, I, I dance You know you, may, you raise an interesting point right? Uh, one of the things That annoys me about Indian people Abroad just one generally of the things? One of the things Take a paper and pen Is uh, <laughs> when you're getting Onto a flight Right oh. This kind of need to rush yeah. 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 Into the flight yes. Right that, We've I mean, never like, understood So annoying See Aryabhatta had the zero That's our thing But the line The actual straight line <laughs> Not an Indian thing You never see Indians And lines being comfortable Every Ever so often In an airport yeah. ATM Anyway, a person just walks by you. And the deboarding. So, yeah. yeah. Deboarding both, is both so times. annoying. So what I kind of wind up doing is that when I am uh, when I am abroad and I'm traveling to or from, I am like deliberately late now. Even if it's time for me to, bro, <laughs> I'll be like, no, let everybody go. Yeah. I don't want to be exactly, that person. Right? Yeah. I want to go. But, but we have such low self-esteem that the plane won't take off or they leave us behind. Everybody just stands there sweating, you know. We're in that line with no place to go. And have you noticed how we don't understand kids and old people? Oh. It doesn't matter they're in front or behind no, us. We doesn't. just keep walking. It Nobody matter. says, oh, ma'am, please walk. Yeah. That, that's just... And it's not like we're bad people. They just don't know no, to do that. A, uh, so, like, even the uh, opening of a door, right? In the oh. US, opening of a door is considered to be, like, just 
basic yeah. politeness. Yeah. Politeness. You always hold it for you the next person. You hold it for the person who's coming. If somebody's coming, like uh, they're ten feet behind you, also. Even if they don't tip you, just keep the door. You hold the door open so that when they're coming, they don't have to open it. Right. And they always acknowledge with their head. Yeah. Or if you're an Indian with with their lips, like. But I feel like. Where? When? Go on, go on. No, but I think that that's something that you you see that. I've seen it in my family, right? It happens quite a bit where they don't do it. Yeah, right? not just your family. It's, it's like it's seventy percent. I don't know. Us. I don't want to say. I don't yeah. want to make a generalization of all. No, it is Indian generalization. Right? No. That's I, I see no, clubs. I see it in hotels. The, I'm talking, hotels. No, no, my family in the US. I'm not talking about here. I'm talking about family abroad. In India, though, nobody holds the door for anybody, <laughs> yeah. right? Over here, though, it's like uh, shut the door. So now you're still upset with the Anoop stereotype, the Apu stereotype in Simpsons? It is. When you don't open doors and you spoil my good name. Why? What does that have to do with anything? Another thing that I, I wish I could do a better impression of Apu. <laughs> Another thing is how in uh, escalator it's kind of unwritten that on the right you stand and the left is free. Left is free. Yeah. yeah. So that is something which I find annoying. Well. No. Also, also, you Indians will talk on the phone on escalator, so people don't exist left to right. Right. Ah, bolo Rakesh. Ah, sun sakte ho. Main airport mein. And stand in the middle with your legs striding across the desk. And the same line. Airport mein. Sun to sahi. Hello, hello. It just goes on the same line. All right, that's all we have time for. Nobody's listening. I should actually just tell Sunny, the guy who asked the last question. Are you know Sunny's guy? Well, well, I'm assuming. Okay, Sunny guy or girl? Sunny guy was a guy. Amit, Sunny. Amit, sorry, he just kind of Sunny Leon, girl. Uh, gone He Sorry. was uh, Making a slight comment to me That he hasn't gone into the NBA But he's hooked to NCAA basketball And I just want to let him know That that's a bad thing And you should change it <laughs> <laughs> What yeah. I can understand Learn is from Simbula How my sister has to pay Millions of dollars To watch NBA there And we get it free Yeah, yeah. Advanced country India. Wait, no, we don't get it free. Right? free. I pay like a eight hundred bucks a month. Oh, you have the NBA pass. The yeah, yeah. The no, no, but they show you games. I, I saw one on Saturday morning. Get one or two games that we get How many do you want to watch? We got to work here. I do. I want to watch. A, I watch a game every day. Don't be a glut, brother. You're very Indian. Very Indian. <laughs> Okay, catch us on any of the podcasting apps, please. We beg you, we need you. If you have any questions, write to us online, and uh, you can mail us as well. We will answer. We have a doctor in the house called me. And that's what Cyrus says. Do you have a night routine? Well, everyone has one, and the to-do list usually looks like this: brush your teeth, set that alarm, get into your pajamas, and switch off those screens. But here's one more to add to that list. Tune into the Positively Unlimited podcast for a dose of positive action and tips on how to build powerful mindsets. Episodes out every Monday on the IVM Podcast app, ivmpodcast.com, or wherever you tune into podcasts. Every week comes a show where. Together to tell you about stuff they like: a movie, a TV show, a book, and other stuff. Tune in every Monday on the IVM Podcast app to IVM Likes. Batman approves this message. Thank you, Batman.